Alert, sponsored by St. Elizabeth Healthcare. A recent report on mammography is raising concerns about false positive screening tests. Medical reporter Liz Bonus joins us now with why experts say it's important to go beyond the headline from this study. Liz. Hey Paula, good afternoon. The study found that women who have to go back for more screening because of what's often called a false positive on a mammogram are more likely to delay getting that test again. But experts at the Women's Wellness Center at St. Elizabeth Healthcare say before you delay, there are a few important things you need to know about mammography. The first thing you should know about mammography, according to Dr. Michael Gunther, is that when it comes to these diagnostic images... The intent is to find something if it's there. But what if what a doctor thinks is there turns out to be nothing? A new study from the American Association for Cancer Research found false positives in screening lead to a delay in the next screening for many women. But when you hear false positive and a report like this, experts say it's important to go beyond the headlines. That's because the first thing to know is that a callback, or what we commonly call a screening false positive, is actually pretty common, according to Becky Dixon. I've been called back myself several times. There are several explanations. Imaging techniques are better. You might not have had a comparative mammogram previously. And there could be something suspicious simply because of your age. Now, the younger you are, the more, uh, the more chance of being called back because younger breast tissue is more dense. You also should know, according to Dr. Gunther, that a callback for a second screening can help you avoid a true false positive. A false positive, in the technical sense of the word, is you biopsy something, it says it's cancer, you take it out, and it's not. Dr. Gunther says that happens a lot less often these days with higher tech screening. And if you delay too long between mammograms... And a fair majority of the cancers I see uh, come back when they feel a golf ball. And that's a whole different story than some microscopic speck of calcium or a pea-sized malignancy. That's a different outcome. Now, in this study, most women delayed several months beyond whatever was recommended when they'd had a false positive. Dr. Gunther says a few months he's not worried about, but longer delays can often lead to these more concerning results. As always, share with us your questions for providers at St. Elizabeth Healthcare by clicking on Ask the Experts at Local12.com.